What's up guys? Finally we are back with some new stuff for the S15 since uh, building the engine and having a little bit of a break from buying parts for the car. If you watched the whole engine build series you'd see that the engine bay is so much nicer than it was. Um, a lot of cool looking pieces in there but it definitely wasn't finished um, from the point where I got the car running. I just got it running kind of essentially everything it needed but it wasn't quite as pretty as I planned for it to be. I did want to wait to make this video until I had a lot of pieces and just throw everything in at once and just have the engine bay kind of complete in one video but the coolest piece arrived from Japan and I just can't wait anymore so we gotta throw it on. If you couldn't see from the thumbnail we have ourselves some carbon fiber this is a genuine um, Garage Defend GT cooling panel. Um, straight out of Japan, got it shipped over um, via DHL. I see a lot of people buying the replica versions of these that they make here in Australia. Um, but if you guys know me, of course I'm getting the genuine. It was only like $200 more expensive than the, the fake versions and I mean, if you get the real version, you're supporting the company who actually designed and created the piece in the first place. And of course, the genuine one is going to be the best quality you can get. It's insanely light, so it's pretty much adding no weight to the car. Full um, carbon fiber all the way through, not just carbon on the top. And yeah, this is going to make the engine bay look so much better. I've also got a catch can here, which I'm gonna mount. I don't have all the fittings yet, but might as well put it in the bay and tidy it up a little bit. And yeah, let's go chuck these things on. Alright guys, here we are. Got the carbon piece. You can see when you're looking at the engine bay, there's just this big open air at the front, which really doesn't look that great. So that's the point of this cooling panel. Um, yeah, it goes, sits right in here and pretty much covers up that whole section. And apparently it's supposed to provide better airflow to the radiator or something like that. But that's not why I bought it. So this is super simple. Pretty much just need to take these little front bumper clips off, which will clip over the carbon and uh, these radiator supports will sit on top of the carbon. Um, so yeah, those four points will hold it in there nicely. And I've also got a bonnet sensor here, which is aftermarket for the alarm system. So I'll take that off and see if I can fit it somewhere on the cooling panel. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to relocate it. radiator is crazy hot right now. I didn't realize how hot they get. So it's not easy to get off without burning myself. There we go. Now the awkward thing here, if you don't have bonnet struts, is the cooling panel needs to go through um, this bonnet holder. So I've got this pole. I'm going to try and hold the bonnet up with that so that I can thread the cooling panel through the um, the bonnet holder. This feels super sketchy so I've got to be quick. Okay, let's put this up. Forgot to pull the bonnet sensor off so we'll grab that quickly. Okay, so there are a few little um, clips on the inside like that are actually holding a wiring harness um, on the inside there that was stopping this from going on. Um, but yeah, I just pulled the, uh, pushed them through. Uh, the wiring will be fine. And yeah, that's sitting pretty flush now. Um, so should be as simple as grabbing some clips. Boom. Kind of sucks how the radiator support has to sit straight on the carbon but I guess there's always going to be 
a radiator support here so if it scratches it's not like you're gonna see it and there we have it guys it kind of sucks that you don't ever see this unless the bonnet's popped but I think it just looks so good um, covers up that big hole and yeah that was a success now the next part isn't quite as cool but it's honestly going to make just as much of a different to the engine bay than uh, the cooling panel does so this is the catch can i've got this is the one that's been in the car since i got it and i always wanted to change it but just didn't have the money uh, when it was coming towards the end of the engine build so i just put some an lines on it and um that's how it stayed but this one goes right up here and mounts in front of the that is the window wiper motor so my idea behind this is it kind of hides that we'll be able to remove that and i'm going to try and hide this boost solenoid um using the bracket it's on it's, it's definitely not pretty um I kind of just put it this here temporary as well because I didn't want it too close to the turbo. Um, I reckon I can put this bracket below here and then once this is, or the catch can's mounted in front of here, you won't even see it and that will really clean up that whole area of the bay. So if we take that off there, you can honestly just tuck it under. And so I haven't timed it, but just to see, that under there like that and we put the catch can in you'd never see that so yeah i think that's gonna work so i'll give you guys a closer look you can see there's a fair few wires in here from the boost solenoid and obviously the vacuum hoses that go to the uh, wastegate so yeah it'd be pretty cool to have that all hidden um so yeah let's chuck the catch can on now so you actually remove the two bolts from the top of the wiper motor and you use these new ones, uh, the longer ones they give you, um, and this massive spacer, which, once you put the catch can in, slots in between there, and that mounts up like that. So yeah, this is, it's definitely the coolest and cleanest catch can I've ever seen um, for the S15 so I had to grab it. If you guys were wondering where I got it, it's a place called 180 Fab. Um, I'll put their Instagram here so you can go get one yourself. So there we have it, tucked away nicely in that corner. As I said before, I'm still waiting for some of the fittings to actually connect this catch can, um, particularly for the PCV side, because I'm gonna run a line over there and a line to, sorry, there, where it's already connected, there and there. That's because, although it would be cleaner to run the catch can straight to there, um, I've heard you can have issues uh, if you remove that, uh, which is some crankcase ventilation, so I'm gonna leave that and run a line to the other side and to there, and then we'll be able to pull this out, this ugly thing out, and definitely be tidier in here. I really hated the way that the boost solenoid was um, sitting over there before, so yeah, I reckon that is so nice now that it's tucked behind there, and you'd never know it was there. So yeah, unfortunately that is it for this video. I know it's only a couple additions to the engine bay, but I'm still waiting on parts, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, there'll be a part two, I guess, to this, to finish off the engine bay. Um, it'll be quite a few more pieces, actually. Smaller pieces, but a fair few more. Um, but yeah, we'll really finish off the bay. I know it's not a show spec engine bay or anything. I like to keep it pretty functional. Like, I even still got the battery in the front just because I like having it there. But um, I think it's a lot better than stock. It's got a bit of color. And yeah, once I make it that little bit cleaner, I think it'll be pretty good. I'll be happy with it. As normal, thank you to everyone who's here watching these videos, especially if you're watching the whole way through. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. It's harder to grow on YouTube, but I've been seeing a bit of growth lately, which is pretty cool and um, motivating me 
to make more videos for sure so yeah there'll be a part two to this and i got a super cool video coming that i've always wanted to do but it's been not possible essentially i won't give away any more than that but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one Thank you.